Many people ask about website accessibility certification, and understandably so. Website owners want tangible evidence that their website is in fact accessible. Of course, this comes in light of all of the website accessibility litigation that is ongoing in the United States. Now, one note is many people use the term ADA compliance certification. We can't issue that because we're not a governing body among other reasons. However, the certification that accessible.org provides will serve the same purpose. And so on the screen with me, we have the first document, which has the heading one website accessibility certification that is followed by a date of issuance. And then we have this initial line that states this document certifies that the website for the scope, for the defined scope, is fully accessible and in conformance with the web content accessibility guidelines version 2.2 conformance level AA as of a date. And then the following section includes all of the met evaluation methodology. And this is really important because it goes to show all of the investment and the work um, that has been put into ensuring that the website is indeed free of accessibility issues. So this section discusses the um, evaluation methods, including a fully manual audit, automated scan, and user testing. It talks about the technical accessibility experts visually inspecting the website's code and appearance, and then also manually testing the website using a keyboard and screen reader. Um, the, the following sentence discusses when, dis when conducting an audit, the different automated scans that are used. And then the last sentence gets into user testing um, that was conducted by an accessibility professional who is blind or visually impaired. And all this is getting at is that we have extensively evaluated the website to ensure that it is free of accessibility issues. And then in the next section, we have the findings and it says after extensive evaluation, the website for the defined scope was found to have zero accessibility issues. Following that section is the, is the actual scope where we list out the URLs that were evaluated. And then last, we have the issuer, which is accessible.org. So moving on to the second, the second document, we have a statement of conformance. And so this is very similar to the website accessibility certification, but it is different because it is a construct of the W3C. So this is more of a sterile document that follows the rules set out for issuing a statement of conformance. And these rules are from the W3C, um, World Wide Web Consortium. And we know that the WAI, the Web Accessibility Initiative, are the ones responsible for the web content accessibility guidelines. And of course they work under the W3C. So this is a construct of the W3C and this document is more sterile, uh, more technical. Um, there, is, there is slight difference. We don't get into the methodology, um, but you have this document and it's just, it, it, it really backs up the website accessibility certification. And so we have the heading one being a statement of conformance and it says this document hereby states that website for the defined scope is in full conformance with the web content accessibility guidelines, um, version conform and conformance level as stated herein. Then we get to the version, then we get to the level, and then the next section is the date, and then we have the scope of conformance. And then last, we have the technologies that are involved. So it states accessibility supported content technologies, and then we have the issuer being accessible.org. So it's a very simple document. As I run through it, you can see that it has many, much of the same information as the certification, but it is a different type of document. And I wanted to offer both depending on what a client wants. So we can, of course, we can issue both, but they are both here. They serve a very similar purpose, but they are distinct documents. I like the certification because as I was going through it, you, you, um, you were able to know all of the investment that went into the evaluation and the rigorous process, um, you know, some of the um, some of the work behind the rigorous process that goes into making sure that a website or another digital asset is free of accessibility issues. And then the last document I have is the user testing certification, and that is the heading one. I I love this document because of what it is it is tethered to. And, and so let's just read through the document and then I'll talk more about it. So we have a date of issuance and then we have this document certifies that website has been user tested by the um, accessibility professional's name. So the tester's name, an accessibility professional who is blind or visually impaired using screen reader assistive technology. Then we have the standards, the web content accessibility guidelines, 
version 2.2 conformance level AA were used as a benchmark during the testing process. And then the next section is the, the environments that were used during the user testing process. So we have voiceover screen reader, NVDA, JAWS, Mac OS desktop, Firefox browser, Safari browser, Chrome browser, and the environments can vary. But the point here is that we are listing out the specifics in, um, in under which the user testing process uh, was conducted. And then we have the findings. So after thoroughly testing the website for 45 minutes, tester finds the following accessibility issues. Ideally, this is going to be no issues found because it will come after remediation. It really depends on when you want user testing conducted. But of course, we recommend you wait until you have all accessibility issues resolved. And then we have this um, second to last section, which is recorded session. And it says the complete user testing session was recorded and is attached alongside this document as, and there's a file name. So this to me is, is so key because we have demonstrable evidence that a, a, a professional with a disability has gone to the website and relayed their experience and, and there were no accessibility issues found. And so this to me is, is so important. And this document represents or really acts in tandem with the video recording. But of course, the recorded session is, is so compelling. And then the last section is the, is the issuer accessible.org. So a few things about these documents. The document itself is not what's important. Although many people are focused on the document, what's important is the investment and the work that the document represents. That's the key here, because these documents are really just, um, they're really just the representation of that work. They really are saying that everything has happened, but they are not what is making the website accessible. And, and uh, I say this just for emphasis, because many people are so concerned with the documents, but it's not really the documents, it's the, what the documents represent. Um, the details and specificity are really, really important to me because they show attention to detail in a thoroughness and a, a regimented process. So the details and specificity definitely play a part in how compelling the documentation is. Um, you cannot purchase this documentation directly. I've had many people ask, I just want certification. Okay, but you have to have the, the requisite service to receive the certification. So at a minimum, Let's say your website was fully WCAG conformant, then you would need an audit so that we could certify that your website is accessible. So it can't, you can't just receive the document. You can't, it's not for purchase. The documents actually come with the services. So they, in a way they are free, but they come by way of the services because to certify, we need to make sure that what we are certifying is actually true. So you cannot pay for these documents. Um, I have here uh, the video documentation, recorded user session. Um, that's all there. And uh, yeah, and then conformance must be completed for every URL named in the scope. So um, this is very compelling documentation and um, very valuable documentation. And that's why I offered it is I think a lot of website owners um, want this type of certainty that their website has indeed been thoroughly evaluated and is actually accessible. And um, that is one reason of many why you cannot purchase this. You can't purchase it. You have to um, you have to go through the process to receive it. So this isn't direct available directly, but it is available if we audit your website and we evaluate your website and we determine that there, that there are no accessibility issues. And these documents can all come as a result of the ADA compliance program that I offer through accessible.org. I will include a link to details about the program, but just know that it includes an audit, remediation, and user testing. And again, user testing is so, so important because there we have that tangible evidence and it, we will provide the recorded video session. Now we can, we can provide the user testing by itself but you may not want to do that if you have accessibility issues, because what will happen is those issues will come up in the user testing session and that will that will be recorded and be provided to you. So you just have to think about that. But so many people ask about certification and we really wanted to be thorough with this and make sure that it is compelling and it is something that you could use to potentially have a case dismissed in court because you have this and it is tangible evidence and the 
it doesn't really get any better than this. So I will include a link to accessible.org. Of course, if you would like consultation on accessibility and ADA compliance and making your website ADA compliant, um, you can consult with me through accessible.org. But for now, I covered the three documents that we offer for certification to really uh, provide tangible evidence that your website is in fact accessible.